about the best I can do with what I have. Honestly, I don't care how much you sterilize them. Fixing up an open wound with stuff you found in the toolkit should always be a last resort. It goes without saying, really. I mean, I'm no medic, but I don't think a pipe wrench was designed with pulling out bullets in mind. Uh, still, I think I did okay. I mean, this should last me at least until I can get to a proper doctor. <laughs> I bet if I showed my handiwork to Doc Mitchell, he would punch me in the face and say it's for my own good. Well, one of these days, I'll sit down, read a medical book, and at least try not to fall asleep at the first chapter. But that's not a promise. Yeah, you see? I can barely feel the cut on my leg now. <laughs> Honestly, where would we be without the placebo effect? Well, uh, I guess there's no more beating around the bush now, is there? It's time for me to head towards Prim. <sighs> you know, maybe I'm just getting paranoid, but I get the feeling I'm going to get shot at again. I mean, here I am reporting to my boss, knowing perfectly well that he might give me both barrels before I can even say work-related injury. But what am I supposed to do? I, I need to know more about that delivery, and I won't find that information anywhere else. Ah, uh, this is such a huge mistake, I can almost see the giant exclamation mark hovering above that place. Just give me a few more hours in the sun, and I'll be able to tell you what color it is. Mind you, I'll tell you what I can see from here. Why are there so much metal scaffolding in town? Uh, is there some kind of construction project going on? Maybe they're building a gate into the negative dimension. Either that or it's a roller coaster track, but that would be stupid. Whoa, 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 what's that noise? That could be a very excited cricket, or that's my Geiger counter ticking off. And now I feel nauseous. Coincidence? Okay, let's do this scientifically. Hypothesis that cesspool is the source of the radiation. Ah, and there's the ticking. I think that was a fairly conclusive experiment. I mean, granted, I can probably extend the trial to several different Geiger counters, which I'll be happy to do if someone is willing to give me the funding. But, ugh, for the sake of my own purpose, I'm happy with the results. Yeah, in any case, I don't think the radiation would be potent enough to give me any lasting problems from this distance. Besides, I'm tougher than I look. Right, so, Los Angeles and Nipton, that way, and Prim is pointing away from the town. Ha! <laughs> well, that's not confusing at all, thanks. I guess it meant the hotel and the gas station, but ah, uh, ah, uh, I see you, I see you there. Don't you try and flank me. Oh, come on, die, die, die! Yeah! I've killed at least a dozen of you fuckers, so what hope did you have? Let me give you a hint. Absolute zero, you little prick. What were you doing on the road, anyway? Whoa, what the fuck is... Is this another mutated bug? Ha! <laughs> what is with this obsession with oversized creepy crawlies? Ah, oh, it's a giant cockroach as well. At least a mantis is more interesting to look at. Ah, uh, 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 I should not have touched that. Actually, I wonder how big they used to be before the war. Apparently they were small enough that you can just crush them with your shoe. <laughs> Imagine that. Killing insects without using weapons. Ah, uh, those were the days. Oh, hello. A flag? Is that supposed to be the NCR outpost? <laughs> I guess Eddie was right. They do have some presence here. Uh, I'm assuming that's the NCR flag, by the way. Let me get a closer look. Oh yeah, that's definitely NCR. Nothing says California more than a two-headed bear. I'm still waiting to see one of those in the wild. Hey, where the hell do you think you're going? Uh oh. Prim is off limits. Um, uh, am I trespassing here? Hold on, what do you mean Prim is off limits? What's going on? Some convicts from the prison up the road have taken over the town. Everyone inside is either dead or in hiding. What's more, there are two tribes of raiders causing trouble in this area as well. You'd be safer heading back up to Good Springs. Screw that! You're an NCR trooper, right? So what are you doing standing around? Get in there, blow things up, arrest some fools, make shit happen! We'd love to, but they don't fall under NCR jurisdiction. Even if they did, we're in no shape to protect them. Jurisdiction? Seriously? 
Those convicts escaped from your prison, and now they're fucking up the town right under your nose. I'd say that puts it under your jurisdiction. So, what's your excuse for not doing your fucking job? We don't have the equipment to take out the convicts. And even if we did, we need some extra hands for backup. You should talk to Lieutenant Hayes. He's in a tent down the road. Just stay on the west side of the overpass if you don't want to get shot. Well, I think I will talk to him. Ha! You guys have the bare-faced cheek to call yourself soldiers. If I could take out four of those guys on my own, then you have no excuse. <sighs> right, well, this is the west side, so this way. And to think I considered asking you guys for help on taking out Eddie and his goons. I mean, look at this. You don't even have a soldier stationed here to guard the north side of the camp. I mean, I'm no general, but this is appalling. What if some guy decided to sneak up at night and steal all your ammo? Whose fault would that be? In fact, what if Eddie and the convicts in Prim decided to work together and attack the camp from the north and the east simultaneously? What are you going to do then? Drag your sorry asses out of this region while holding your own severed dick, that's what! Well, that's my way into town later, assuming this place doesn't get overrun in the meantime. In fact, I'm surprised these soldiers lasted as long as they have. I should become a disciplinary officer. Then I'll be flogging these guys till there's no tomorrow. What doesn't kill you makes you stronger. Unless it's herpes. Then you're better off with medication. And look, this is exactly what I'm talking about. A perfectly good spot for a sentry and it's not even occupied. Whoever's in charge of this place is an idiot. Ah, uh, well, I can't see anyone from here. Assuming the people of Prim are still alive, I guess they must have barricaded themselves indoors. It is not exactly a sustainable future. Hey man, how much food do we have left? Oh well, let's see now. We've got rat steak, rat pate, or if you want something exotic, rat brain. Knock yourself out. Meanwhile, the soldiers out here are playing the waiting game. Well, newsflash guys, by the time you finally grow enough balls to do something about this, everyone in town would have starved to death. You're placing the whole town under siege while the townspeople themselves are under siege by the convicts. How the hell does that work? Oh good, another soldier. And it's only the second one I've seen so far. That's so reassuring. Hey. Hello, I'm a courier from Good Springs. I don't suppose you're the one in charge here. I'm Sergeant McGee of the New California Republic Army, 5th Battalion, 1st Company. If you want to talk about something, speak to Lieutenant Hayes. Um, a simple no would have sufficed. Say, you're not a local by any chance, are you? I'm from Hub originally, but it's been a long time since I saw it. I'm on my second tour here. Most non-commissioned officers are. Ah, fair enough. I'm a local. Well, kind of. So, forgive me for saying this, but I'm not exactly happy with the way things are going in this area. What with the powder gangers and all. But, I'm sure you guys have a plan to deal with this. You do have a plan, right? I have no idea. I just go and do what they tell me. Wow. You're not even going to say anything for the sake of morale? Well, at least you're honest, I guess. Well, if it's okay with you, I'm going to speak to your commanding officer now. Sir. Oh, um, at ease, I guess. Ah, <sighs> well, it was worth a shot. I have to admit, I haven't thought about how I'm going to get the information Eddie wanted. I mean, I'm not going to help him, but I still need to know myself. Well, I guess this must be the place. Um, hi, which one of you is the lieutenant? I was told to speak with you. Um... Uh, are you... I'm Lieutenant Hayes of the New California Republic Army, 5th Battalion, 1st Company. What's your business? Ah, well, you see, I'm a courier with business in Prim, but your boys just told me I can't get in. Now, forgive me for asking this, but what exactly are you trying to do here? We were sent out here to hold back the tide of convicts from the correctional facility. As you can probably tell, we aren't doing the kind of job we could be doing. With respect, sir, that's an understatement. So, what's wrong with this mission? What exactly is holding you back? The mission isn't a problem. The problem is with supplies. The convicts are better armed and organized than our intel initially suggested. I'm trying to get some reinforcements here, maybe some guns with some firepower, but... Shit. Things are just going slow. So you're saying it's bureaucracy? Ah, uh, problems like that are nothing new. You think this whole thing is limited to just this area? 
these guys are operating as far north as Good Springs. Do you even know anything about who you're fighting here? Not much. They've taken to calling themselves Powder Gangers. Mostly because they've taken to using the explosives meant to clear boulders as weapons. They got organized faster than I would have thought. Most of them, at least. Thankfully, the small group in town here seemed to have split off from the main force, so they aren't getting anything in the way of support. Well, that's lucky, isn't it? But that's just the tip of the iceberg. Look, have you seen those guys further north? You must know they're still holed up in that prison, or facility, or whatever the hell you call it. Most people just call it NCRCF. That's NCR Correctional Facility. Yes, I know. A little bit ago, the convicts there staged a coup. Killed the guards that weren't able to escape. And I've been ransacking the area since then. Yeah, I've seen it myself. And just so you know, they're not planning to slow down anytime soon. Look, I want to sort these guys out, okay? Not just the ones in Prim, but every single one of the fuckers. But I can't do that without some information first. I have some free time. Ask away. Ah, uh, ah, uh, don't say that because you shouldn't be having any free time. It's not what the taxpayer wants. But anyway, I only have one question, and I hope you can answer me fully. Do you or do you not have any plans to attack the prison? Military operations are classified information. The brass is familiar with the situation at the NCRCF. Fuck! What the hell, man? You're going to use the classified info shit on me? Seriously? Well, just so you know, I'm heading into Prim, and I'm going to sort this out with or without your help. Sir? What? Oh, oh, I'm dismissed. Is that it? Conversation over? Well, fuck the whole lot of you. I, I'm not joking, by the way. I am going to fucking do this. Uh, this is your last chance to offer assistance, by the way. Oh, fine then. I'll let myself out. Christ almighty, and I thought I could talk some sense into those guys. Everyone is going to know that one man, a simple courier, dared to do what these soldiers did not. The people of Prim will write me into the history books and make monuments of me, not the NCR. Right, anything in the post today? Yep, a baseball glove and an empty bottle. Figures. Actually, I don't think I want a monument. I'm not that much of an egocentric dickhead. But I'll make them remember me. A savior who was also a courier with no memory of his name. I, uh... Actually, leave that last bit out. Oh, thank God they actually have someone guarding the bridge. <laughs> there may be hope for this lot yet, albeit slim. Yeah, don't mind me, I'm just passing through. Uh, oh. What the hell are... Those are landmines. Holy shit, those are fucking landmines. Uh, dude, as much as I appreciate your defensive measures, I do need to get across there, so if you don't mind... I'm not sure you should be here. Well, I'm not sure you should be doing this job, but that's not the point, okay? I know fuck all about explosives, so you're gonna have to disarm them for me. Just... just lay them back down again once I get across, it's not a big deal. Look, I already got access permission into Prim from Lieutenant Hayes himself. What else do you need? And I'm going to take a wild guess and say there's no other way into town. You wouldn't focus on guarding this entrance if it's one of many. Look, I'm not going to bribe you if that's what you're thinking. I'm not that desperate yet. Oh, actually, I guess I can walk across this ba <coughs> this barrier. Yeah, look at this. What you're seeing here is ingenuity. I don't fucking need your help anymore. I... Oh, oh, wait a minute. Am I gonna set this thing off? Okay, if I fuck this up, it's going to hurt a lot. But what can I say? Live life on the edge. Oh shit, oh shit, oh shit! That was the worst idea ever!